Creativity is the lifeblood of the UK film, television, screen industries because what is at the heart of what we do is making content and content that has to be new, original, dramatic, exciting that people in this country and people all over the world want to watch. And the truth of the matter is, is that the reason we're doing so well is because we have so many creative and talented people who want to enter the UK film and television industry and are producing those fantastic new ideas, those fantastic new things that excite audiences. Employers in the UK film and television industries value creativity pretty much above everything else because they need to know that the people they're employing can think in really imaginative and distinctive and fresh ways. They don't want automatons, they don't want machines, they want people who are comfortable with technology but they want people to be able to think and bring renewed energy and that imagination into the things they're trying to make. And so for them, creativity is probably the single most important criterion that they want from an employee. But I think that it's really important that film and television is studied um, as a course at university. That's what I did at university. In fact, I was one of the first ever undergraduates on a, on a film course. That's how old I am. But for me, you have to be able to understand the history, the economic, the social context of movies. And if you're going to work in the film and television industry, you need to know, not just know that history, but you need to watch movies and watch a lot of movies. I say this to writers, directors, producers, undergraduates and postgraduates all the time that you can't exist in our industry in a bubble. Most of the greatest artists I've ever known and had the pleasure of meeting, whether it be, I don't know, a British director, whether it's Stephen Daldry, Stephen Frears, whoever, through to Martin Scorsese, are cinema obsessed and obsessed about every aspect of it. And I think that's why university courses that do that are so important. Well, I think that it's quite clear that increasingly we have people doing, whether it's practical filmmaking courses or academic study courses, who are coming out of universities and going into our industry. I, at the time, back in 1980, was probably quite a rare example. Those numbers are going up and you see absolute causal connections between, you know, whether it's Falmouth doing, you know, um, uh, supporting a film like Bait, a tremendous art house success in, in UK cinema in the last year or so, and winning BAFTAs, um, through to what the University of Arts Bournemouth does with costume design. My own daughter went to the University of Arts Bournemouth, she went to work for Angel's Costume House, she has just finished work on a Marvel movie at Pinewood. There's a direct causal link, and that is fantastic for UK PLC. It means that we're refreshing our talent base in the UK. It means that we are generating new, exciting employment opportunities. And it means we're earning money for UK PLC because these graduates bring skills into the workplace and help UK PLC build its base even further. We are now one of the most successful industries in the world and one of the most successful industries in the UK. We're growing faster than any other part of the UK economy, and that's no small part due to the people who are employed within the industry.